This tutorial is for anybody looking to put 3D split screen in their games for Godot, or if you're just curious to learn more about how control nodes work in a 3D game. For this tutorial, you won't need to do any coding. If you're interested in learning how to handle multiplayer inputs, I'll link some other tutorials in the description. But for now, I'm going to create a new project. Start with a 3D scene. Now I'm going to add a bunch of nodes. You can press Control A to add nodes very quickly. So I'm going to, for, as a child of a spatial node, add a margin container node. And to make sure that this margin container is actually going to show up as the same size as our screen, we're going to click on Layout and Full Rect. As a child of the margin container, we're going to add a grid container. And as a child of the grid, we're going to add a viewport container. As a child of the viewport container, let's add a viewport. And as a child of the viewport, let's add a camera, just a 3D camera. So now we have the setup of the 3D world, the camera that also exists in the same 3D world, despite being in a different viewport, and the control nodes that display the contents of the viewport on the screen. Right now, we're not going to be able to see anything because there's a few properties we have to take care of. To create a four-player split screen, I'm going to use two columns in the grid container instead of one. Going down to the viewport container, I'm going to click on stretch to make sure that the viewport always takes up the maximum amount of space it can. On the viewport itself, I'm going to change the size to just some number. I like to go for 128, but because we selected stretch, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go back up to the viewport container actually and click on size flags in the inspector. And under here, there's horizontal and vertical. I'm going to click expand for both. And now we can actually see the 3D view of our camera show up on half of the uh, screen over here. And that's because we set up these two columns. Uh, if I set it to one column, it takes up the whole screen, etc. So to fill out the rest of this grid, I'm going to click on the viewport container and then press Control D to duplicate these viewport containers. And now I have my four player split screen set up. Something else uh, that's cool about using the margin container and the grid container and the size flags, the expand, is that all of our viewport containers will scale to whatever size of our window that we give it. So we don't have to worry about like entering any numbers or using a different uh, scaling system for our project. Um, everything will look as it should do. If you want to get rid of these little lines in the middle here, you just go over to grid container, down to custom constants in the grid container, click on the checkboxes for H and V separation, and that should get rid of those gaps. If you guys found this tutorial useful, definitely give it a thumbs up. Uh, please tell me if there's any more tutorials that you'd like to see. You can subscribe for more Godot tutorials. I'll be going through more cool stuff to do with control nodes and a little bit of 3D stuff. In the meantime, good luck in all your projects, and I hope to see you next time.